Hey guys, today we're going to do an onion tart. So you will need 200 grams of a flour, 100 grams of butter, three eggs, about 500 grams of onions, some cream cheese, some real cheese, some bacon, salt and pepper and whatever you want to use to you know flavor it a little bit so i want to start off with the flour and the butter in a bowl then i want to add a little bit of salt and the egg and then you want to start mixing that together a little bit so the butter has been melted a bit so it's easier to work with After that, you want to switch to your hands and mesh it together to have a nice dough in the end. This is what it should look like and then you want to put it into the fridge for about half an hour. While that is in the fridge, you want to take your onions, um, you want to peel them obviously and then cut them into very, very thin slices. And then you want to take your bacon and cut that into smaller pieces. Now take a pan with some hot oil in it and mix the onions and the bacon and just let that sit for about... 20 minutes or 30 minutes and you want to mix it every now and again and put a lid on top of that then after 30 minutes you want to take your dough out of the fridge just warm it up in your hands a little bit and start putting that into your pan for the cake so it looks something like that you can make it as thin as you want just pull up these sides a little bit then you want to take two eggs and mix them together a little bit so it's a nice fluffy mixture. And then back to the onions. When they start to get brown you want to add a little bit of water into that. Then you want to add your pepper and your salt and maybe something like nutmeg or whatever you want and then mix that in really well then I also added in cheese for some flavor I really love that and just let it melt into that and by that time I switched off the heat so the pan is a little bit hot still so that's totally enough and then I also added in a little bit of cream cheese because I also really like that but that's totally optional and then I added in the eggs and since there is no heat anymore you can mix that in quite well and then put that mixture on top of your dough into your pan and distribute it evenly and then you want to bake that for 30 minutes with 180 degrees celsius so i really hope you enjoy this